magnetic connectors are available for phones. They allow transfer of power and data. For this project we want a strong magnet. This one has magnets in both sections. This one only has a magnet in the main base. This isn't very good for what we want. There are eight pins and four wires. Only three of the four wires are useful. A multimeter is used to work out which pins actually work. We cut off the USB connector. We can only use the white, green and black wires. Due to opposing polarity, we have to separate the two cables. Non-ferrous metal is used to separate them. We want a spring mechanism like this, so it goes up and down. The central screw here will allow a spring to be attached. A pen spring is ideal. Use the plastic from a motorcycle surround. The plastic weld the parts. Here's a custom made housing. It's made to fit the top box rack plate. The connectors protrude through the rack plate. Wires are connected to the iPhone connectors. The soldering needs to be quite precise. The plastic weld the connectors into the box. Glue will not be strong enough. That's why we want the plastic. We arrange to connect to the bike. The power indicators brakes are all wired. The rack plate here with the spring connectors is shown. The spring allows room for the box to press down. If the box is not exactly aligned, there's a poor connection. The top box can be removed. The box can be taken away for security. The flashing LED indicates a positive connection. The internal micro switch swaps between the light and the alarm LEDs. Stay tuned for upcoming plans of a remote opener. Thanks for watching.